And the movies I'm going to be reviewing today are Perkins 14, Yes Man, and Transit. The last movie, Transit, come, doesn't come out till the 12th of this month. So, uh, so if you got a chance, check it out. I give this movie about a seven. It wasn't that great. It was kind of a it was a love story between a Russian soldier and a German prisoner. It takes place during the World War II. Uh, movie again. It, there's some parts that was pretty good. Some parts are just kind of long. You're kind of like, okay, come on, let's get get over with and get it done. So. This movie I give us I give a seven. So it is Yes Man. You can check this out at any blockbuster or whole, or video store that you go to. So and I give this movie a ten because it was funny as hell. The people I mean it was great. Jim it was one of Jim Carrey's best performance. Kind of like Liar his performance in Liar Liar. Movie is really good. Highly recommend watching it. Check out Yes Man. Really funny. Thanks. Next movie is Perkins 14. It's also another movie that's out as part of the After Dark Films Productions. Eight films that I have for. Um, takes place in a small little town where um, a little boy, a sheriff's little boy gets kidnapped. And part of these 14 kid, kids that have been kidnapped, locked in cages and in having inhuman things done to these kids. And then these kids get out. So... Check. I give this. I give Perkins fourteen. I give that about an eight, eight nine. It was pretty good in parts. Other parts are kind of like okay. It's kind of long and dragging on. Check it out. So, like I said, go to your new blockbuster or home video store that you go to to rent your movies and check out your movies. So, thanks. And give me a give me a rating. What you think of my preview so far? So, thank you. So if you guys like war movies like In Transit, i check out the better movies I really liked was uh, Boy in Striped Pajamas and The Children of Hung Shi. With Children of Hung Shi is based on a true story about a journalist who goes into Japan and he ends up in a, or running an orphanage. It, I give that movie a 10 because it was really good, very well done, and the really cool thing is that towards the end of the movie, the the children that were in his orphanage talk about him at towards the end of the movie, so check out Boy in Striped Pajamas and the other I mean the Children of Hung Shi and the Boys in Striped Pajamas is another good movie. It's a friendship between two kids. Develop the one of them, his father runs the uh, concentration camp and the other one is in the concentration camp and it's it's kind of a forbidden friendship. So check out the Boy in Striped Pajamas. That's another ten. 